Today I want to talk about charging or power. When I go out hiking, camping, car camping, anything like that, I always make sure I have batteries with me. That way I can take the photos that I want, any videos that I want, and my phone can always stay charged and I don't have to always use the battery for my truck. I don't like using that main battery to charge my phone up unless it's actually running and I don't want to keep my truck running all the time either because it's not necessarily good on the motor. And normally if I'm just charging my phone, I'll take something small, kind of like this. This is a power bank from Anchor. It's like a 20,000 milliamp, it charges my phone like five or six times realistically. But if I wanted a little bit more robust solution, there's another option. And this is the option that I took with me car camping down in Moab. I took this thing with me. So this is Anchor's powerhouse. It's basically just one of these, except for like six times the size. So this again for reference has about 20,000 milliamps. This has 120,000 milliamps in it. And if you actually look at what's on the battery pack, you have your charging input right here, but you also have a full 12 volt DC outlet for car chargers four different USB ports right here, and then a full AC power outlet that you can plug regular plugs into. Well, it's pretty intense. So when I first saw this battery pack, my first thought was like, okay, well in what real situation am I actually gonna be using this thing? Like in what situation do I need to take 120,000 milliamps of power with me? But realistically, if I was plugging in a phone, camera batteries, drone batteries, different things like that, like if I'm actually going out and I'm making videos and I'm using those batteries consistently, you go through a lot of power. And then of course I started thinking a little bit more unrealistically like, okay, what all can this battery pack handle? And so I started thinking like, okay, well, if I was going camping, you know, say I had kids or nephews or something with me and I, and I went camping, what all would I wanna take to plug into this battery pack? Well, what about a TV? Let's find out. Okay, so, Push the button, turn the AC outlet on, and then we'll plug the TV in. And uh, this is the moment of truth. It's a good sound. <laughs> there it is. I'm actually really impressed. I wasn't sure if I was gonna turn the TV on. Okay, so that's great. It powers the TV, but what good is a TV up in the mountains to watch a movie or anything like that if you can't actually stream anything to it. Now I don't really have a DVD player anymore, but we do have an Xbox. Let's take that. Xbox will go on the side. I really haven't turned the Xbox on yet, so I don't know if it's gonna work and power both of them. My prediction is that it's not gonna power both the TV and the Xbox. I think it's just gonna be a little bit too much power to, to be pulling from that battery. Um, let's try it out, see if it works. Oh. Are you serious? It's legit working. So I wonder how fast this is gonna go down. It's sitting at 99% right now. I'm gonna get a controller. So I actually rarely play video games. I just don't find a whole lot of time for it. And uh, that's pretty clearly evident right now because to even turn the Xbox on, I have to update it. So let's update. All right, so the Xbox is updated, the TV is still on. I'm actually still really impressed that both of these are working and that the Xbox updated while it's plugged into the power bank. The power bank has been on with both the TV and the Xbox for about 15 minutes while the Xbox updated and it's still sitting at like 93%. So, I mean, it's pretty impressive that it's still sitting at 93% after the update. So I'm gonna throw Call of Duty Zombies on for a second I'm gonna just kind of get an idea for how long this Anchor battery pack actually lasts. Okay, so currently it is 11.47 and the battery pack is at 92%. I'm not gonna be very good. But this is a test for science, not for skill. This is a house of learned doctors. It has been about 20 minutes of gameplay and it has gone down about 10%. 
I mean, 10% for 20 minutes is really not too bad. Theoretically, you could play for two, three hours on that, um, which really I'm, I'm honestly impressed with. I, I didn't think it was going to power the, the Xbox and the TV from the beginning. I always look at things as like, how useful are they actually going to be to me and what would I actually be able to use this for? Realistically, what that anchor powerhouse is going to be used for is emergency situations. You know, if the power goes out, I still have a way to keep my devices charged so I can stay in contact with people that I need to. It could also be used for camping trips where there are multiple people who need to charge their device or, you know, charging batteries, drone batteries, camera batteries, whatever whatever you've got. So those are the more realistic things that this battery pack will actually be used for. But every once in a while, it's cool to see the random stuff that you can throw in with it as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you around. Peace.